Lately, some of you have been a little out of sorts. Erratic, unreliable, downright sloppy. Not you, Noir. You've been great. Oh, when the moonlight hits your eye with a bright crescent knife, that's a morning. Ah, Moon Knight, the batshit crazy ketamine taken clansman who once landed money to Dracula and never got it back. Yes, all of that is indeed canon, don't bother looking it up. I'll admit, when Marvel first announced Moon Knight for their Disney Plus streaming service, I was a bit skeptical. Mainly because I didn't know too much about the character. Yeah, alright, I'll admit it. As much as I try to make it seem like I'm an all-encompassing nerd machine with in-depth knowledge on every property known to man, I don't know jack shit about things like Captain Kirkland and his team of off-brand Star Wars characters. I don't care that Star Trek came first, f*** you, it's terrible, and I refuse to subject myself to that pussy-ass pacifist garbage. But what I did know about Mark Spector is that he's a former mercenary who suffers from a disassociative disorder that gives him multiple personalities and moonlights as a violent vigilante who murders criminals in the name of a supposed moon god who we're not even sure is real. Which all of that didn't sound anything like the kind of thing that would belong on a family-friendly streaming service. So already out the gate was not looking forward to this pussified version of Moon Knight. Especially not after Book of Boba Fett turns everyone's favorite ruthless bounty hunter into a weak pushover who can't shoot for shit, despite the fact that he's been using firearms his entire life, but is apparently extremely skilled with a stick he only just recently learned how to fight with. Jabba ruled through fear, but I intend to rule with respect. And by respect, I mean disrespect from every fucking guy imaginable. But enough about Boba. He isn't one of Mark's personalities. Well, that's it. I got the sack. I mean, I don't blame him. I'm a vandal. I should have been arrested. God damn it! What's with Disney's obsession with Taika Waititi? They just keep rewriting Korg over and over again into every fucking property imaginable. And Marvel already has Korg. It's the actual fucking Korg. Now I have no idea how Steven is portrayed in the comics, but in the show he's basically just another awkward New Zealander guy. But thankfully I'm somehow not tired of this character trope yet as I found it to be decently enjoyable as the show went on. Although in the first episode I was so eager to see Moon Knight and Khonshu that I found it to be pretty insufferable. But as the series got on, he got better and better. I just felt that he works better in small dosages as a comedy relief. For the best episodes are when he has someone like Layla or Mark to bounce off of. Which brings me to Mark Spector, an individual I have mixed feelings on. Initially I liked him because it seemed like he was the macho badass vigilante I tuned in for, but over time it became apparent he was actually pretty tame, but yet also kind of a bit of a dick. Especially to his wife Layla. But as it goes on, you begin to realize why he is the way he is, and that's when he grows on you. Although he was still too pussy to kill Arthur Harrow. I'm really getting sick of the classic superhero trope of turning the other cheek and refusing to kill the main bad guy after you already spent the main bulk majority of the story brutally murdering random dudes without so much as a care in the world. Seriously, these motherfuckers be like, horrible rotten evil person who's responsible for the deaths of thousands and caused all the chaos in the story? I sleep. Random guy who was just following orders? Real sh**. I mean, on one hand I get it because he wants to stop being a bad person and sh**. But on the other hand, this guy's just going to keep murdering people and wreaking havoc on society. And pretty much every f***ing guy who died because you were on that self-improvement bullshit may as well just be another number to your hit list. Because they probably wouldn't have died if you'd have just ponied up and killed this bitch ass. I mean, seriously. What's one more number to the old body count before settling down and retiring? For the record, I'm talking about killing, not having sex. You hear that, my future toxic girlfriends? You do not have my permission to use that clip as an excuse to f*** one more person before marrying me. You can kill one more person, though. I'm definitely cool with that shit, so long as it isn't me. I think overall, though, my main issues with this show can be explained through my opinions on Mark Spector, which is that while he is badass at times and maybe a little crazy, he pales in comparison to what the internet had me expecting. I came into this looking for a cross between Daredevil, Batman, The Punisher, and Deadpool, but instead I got a cross between Taika Waititi, Poe Dameron, and Ivan Ooze from X-Men Apocalypse. I don't even know who the f*** or what the f*** Ivan Ooze is beyond the fact that people say he looks like him. Now granted, again, I haven't read the comics, but from the Wikipedia articles and various other things I've seen, I don't think they lean so heavily into all that Egyptian crap. Like, I'm pretty sure Disney just wanted to differentiate the character enough from Batman and gain some woke diverse brownie points. Much like how they've chosen to stray really f***ing far away from the Miss Marvel comics so as to differentiate from Mr. Fantastic and gain woke points for making a show about Muslim people that sometimes maybe involve superhero shit. And I think that really f***ing sucks and showcases just how far the MCU has fallen these days. I mean, the last couple projects they put out have been pretty mediocre, to say the damn least. Like, don't get me wrong, I like some parts of Doctor Strange, and Thor was alright, I guess. But man, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of content these days. 
with the focus seeming to slowly ever so slowly be more on promoting diversity than actually having a good story. It's funny because Shang-Chi changed a f***ing lot from the comics, but a lot of the changes actually worked out for the better. I mean, I don't think anybody would have preferred having an Asian Dr. Doofenshmirtz as the main villain instead of the epically badass ruler of the Ten Rings Wenwu. And I honestly prefer the f***ing kick Sonic Whip Rings in the film to the generic off-brand Infinity Stones we got in the comics. But outside of that film, most of the changes seem to be pretty f***ing lame. Like making a Moon Knight show where he only fights street crime off-screen. It honestly should really be called Stephen Grant because Moon Knight only gets about 7 minutes of screen time. Yes, you heard that right. 7 f***ing minutes spent in the titular Moon Knight costume. Imagine if the f***ing Batman had only 7 minutes in costume and the rest of the other 3 hours was spent watching Bruce Wayne solving riddles in the Batcave with Alfred and going to board meetings. Okay, it sounds like that's actually what a lot of people wanted from that film. Well, f*** you. To me, that sounds terrible. I've talked about this many times on the channel, but the main appeal of superheroes to me is seeing guys in bad super suits with powers beating the ever-loving f*** out of other guys in super suits with powers. Or just having any guy in a bad ass costume beating the f*** out of people. So while I appreciate the focus on Mark's dissociative disorder, I feel that there needed to be a balance between the action and psychological issues. And unfortunately, the Moon Knight writers need to take a lesson from Thanos on just what the f*** balancing means. I often found myself tuning out a little bit and getting bored as f*** watching this show. I mean, not as much as when I watched Ms. Marvel. There's entire sections and characters from that show I don't even remember. But still, every now and then I would mentally check out because I just couldn't handle this shit. And I'm a fucking grown ass krill, so I can hardly imagine how entertaining a child found this shit to be. I suppose that's the problem with these MCU shows though, isn't it? They want to have their cake and eat it too. Creating serious dramas for adults while also trying to pander to the children who will buy their lunch boxes. So it should be no surprise when it inevitably ends up just covering boring surface level issues that's too stupid for most adults to get into and too complex for most kids to understand. Leaving you thinking who the f*** was this even for? Especially when you spend 5 hours doing boring surface level mature sh only for the finale to be the most childishly stupid sh ever. When the whole thing should just be a bunch of childishly stupid bullshit to begin with. Either that or make it a mature f***ing adult show like Daredevil or The Punisher. Or, better yet, stop trying to make MCU shows. Outside of Loki and the first few episodes of WandaVision, these shows have been f***ing terrible. I would argue most of these characters and stories like Falcon the Winter Soldier, Miss Marvel, and Moon Knight would all work better if they were given to us in smaller doses. I mean, imagine if they dragged out Shang-Chi to be 6 hours but kept all the same fight scenes for budgetary reasons. That shit would've sucked ass just like Kenobi did. Oh, you thought Star Wars was safe? No f***ing way, not every character in that universe lends itself to a TV show either. However, I would be willing to watch 6 hours of Layla doing anything. That girl is fly as hell. Mark Spector must be a closeted homosexual to want to divorce her fine ass. But, in conclusion, Moon Knight was overall a major disappointment for me up until that end credit scene hit. That sh changed my tune up fast. If they can give us a movie that gives Khonshu and Jake Lockley a sh ton of screen time murdering people, I will take back everything I said about this show. Please, I just want to see superheroes f***ing people up again like the good old days. Leave all the investigating to the professional, aka Batman. He's the only character I could watch investigating sh for six hours. Eh, f*** it. I could watch that sh forever. And to Disney. You gotta stop making everything a TV show. More screen time isn't always a good thing. Especially when it means you get to spend more time watching your favorite characters sleeping and eating dinner. Unless I get to see Boba Fett or Moon Knight taking a massive sh in the toilet, and I don't want to see it. Seriously, what do bathrooms even look like in Star Wars? Am I the only one who's bothered by the fact that we've never seen one? So... In conclusion, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, Falcon Winter Soldier are all mediocre, with Moon Knight only being slightly better because the characters are actually f***ing decent. F*** you, you can go cry about my opinion in the comments, you nerds. To hold me every day I wake up, then I start to break up, lonely as a krill without love. All right, I just, I, I had to sing that at least once, you know. I, I, as you may have noticed, I like singing on this channel, even though I'm f***ing awful at it. D don't, don't worry, though, I'm not going to pull a, a, a filthy Frank and, and f***ing leave this garbage, awful channel to, to start a shitty SoundCloud career, even though uh, I, I, I probably would be more lucrative, uh, me, me, me singing songs and shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, that, that was my review of Moon Knight. I uh, can't believe I reviewed Moon Knight before I reviewed the Batman, but, uh, here we are. I'm, I was actually supposed to review the Batman this week, but I just, I don't know, I got writer's block. I just couldn't fucking write it, and I saw I wrote, like, the first half of this, this review, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's just finish it. Um, yeah, uh, sorry that it, it kind of turned into a little bit more of a rant about why I just don't like the Marvel shows, because, like, it's like, dude, these shows, it would be a lot better if I could just, 
I didn't have to spend fucking six hours watching this guy fucking go about his daily life, eating food and going to school and doing all this fucking crap. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I just finished Miss Marvel, and so I think that kind of seeped itself into this script. And I also saw the new Thor and, and, and whatever. But anyways, yeah, so if you like this re this review or video thing, uh, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. I'm, I'm going to do more stuff like this. I'm probably going to review the Batman at some point. So if you're interested in hearing my opinions on that, then I probably should fucking subscribe. Uh, hit the bell and, and, and stuff. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Same curl time, same curl channel. See you.